What's up you guys, it's Cody Steck, your Utah Realtor, back here in the office with another video that's gonna be a little bit different here for you. We're gonna be breaking down what a discount broker is, how they work, and whether you should consider using one. And I'm gonna try and keep this as unbiased as possible. Now that might be a little bit hard just because I am a real estate agent, but I wanna break down what it is for you and also give you my perspective on whether or not you should use one. So if you don't know who I am, my name's Cody. I'm a real estate agent here in Salt Lake City and the surrounding areas. If you're thinking about relocating here, make sure to get in touch with me. I have clients reaching out to me from all over the place, nationally, even internationally, looking to relocate here, and I absolutely love it. So my information's here on the screen. Make sure to call me, text me, email. Just get a hold of me any way that you need to so we can have a discussion about your plans to relocate here. All right, so let's jump into it. So discount broker, really what a discount broker is, is it's somebody who's gonna perform the service of buying or selling real estate with you at a cheaper price than you might be used to paying for a full-time realtor. Now, my absolute favorite way to break this down and describe it to you guys is that using a discount broker is very similar to using TurboTax if you were filling out your taxes, right? So taxes are a little bit different than how real estate works, right? Real estate, you're making a gigantic purchase. Taxes, you're just filing with the government to show how much you earned and how much you owe or how much you're getting back. So there's a little bit of difference there, but it's a good way to lay it out for you just to give you guys the understanding of kind of how it works. So TurboTax is really the middleman between you and the government, right? They're, it's a software that they're using to help process your taxes in a quick, efficient manner and in a way that's a little bit more cost effective. The other option would be to use a CPA or an accountant to help do your taxes for you. Now, when you go this route, when you use a CPA, it's gonna be more expensive. Of course, you're gonna pay for that, but you're gonna get better service, you're gonna get hands-on service, and you're gonna get a higher level of expertise to look at your taxes and tell you, hey, here's what you can save on, here's where you can spend money and write it off, here's what you should do moving forward to save money on taxes for next year. And there's a lot of benefits that really come into play when you're using a CPA. Now, I should mention that, hey, this isn't about taxes. I'm not a tax accountant. I'm just a real estate agent, so uh, full disclaimer there. But it's a good analogy and a good way to break this down. So using the CPA is the right choice for most people, in my opinion, because they give the person the ability to um, have that hands-on expertise with how to save money and how to be effective with their taxes and make the best decisions possible. So even though it costs a little bit more, you're supposed to be saving more on your taxes and setting yourself up to be in a better tax position. Now, why are we talking about this? Let's get back to real estate. Real estate is very similar, right? Working with a real estate agent, somebody like myself who's hands-on, I'm gonna give you a higher level of expertise and a higher level of professionalism to help you navigate the process of buying or selling your home if you're looking at doing that here in Salt Lake City. So that's the equivalent of using a CPA, whereas a discount broker is gonna be like the TurboTax. Does it work for some people? Yes, it does. Some people you know, can get away with just using a, a TurboTax or the discount broker, but it's not gonna be their best experience and you may be leaving money on the table. In fact, I'd say most times you probably are. So by going down the route of having a professional on your side that's willing to kick in and um, you know, really fight for you when it comes to negotiating that price or negotiating repairs or getting the keys on time or making sure that everything stays on track so you can move right from your old home into the new one with no delays, that's the extreme power of having a real estate agent on your side and that's really what a discount broker is. So again, breaking down how the discount broker works, they're basically a middleman between you and the buying, buying or selling process so really what they're trying to do is they're gonna help you navigate that buying or selling process and do it for a cheaper amount. They're gonna be using things like technology and spreading out their advertising and their level of uh, dedication to each individual client in order to do more of a volume game as opposed to a high level of expertise, right? So when you're working with an individual real estate agent, you generally have hands-on, one-on-one contact with them and you get a lot of their expertise and you can reach them just about any time. Whereas when you go with a discount broker, they might have 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 clients that they're working with and they just don't have the time or the manpower to give you everything that you need. So let's get down to my basics, uh, get down to the basics and my perspective on using a discount broker. Um, and really what I wanna say is, look, using a real estate agent isn't for everybody. 
If you have a general idea of how the real estate process works or you're willing to learn it and put in the time and go through that process to kind of navigate it, even if it's your first, second or third time, then by all means, go for it. You know, using a CPA is not for everybody. Using an attorney is not for everybody or even a doctor. It's not for everybody. But when you need somebody on your side who's willing to do the best job possible for you, that's when they step in and that's when you should be using a realtor. If you want to have a carefree and easy way to go about this, that's the route that you want to go. Like I said, if you're willing to put in some of the work and navigate this yourself, and if you think it's going to be an easy process, then go for it. Use the discount broker, save some money and have a good experience. But if you want that hands-on experience, let's get in touch. Call me if you're relocating here to the Salt Lake City area. Text me, email, just get a hold of me any way that you need to. So we can have a discussion about how this process works as well as what area that you want to live in. If you haven't checked out my other videos here on the channel, make sure to do that. I talk a lot about what it's like to live in these different neighborhoods, what the cost of living is here, best neighborhoods, worst neighborhoods, and you should check those out if you're looking at relocating here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when I release new videos like that. Give me a thumbs up here on the video. And like I said, get in touch with me. Follow me on Instagram at Utah Real Estate underscore. I'd love to see you over there as well. And guys, until next time.